and welcome to the Chisholm Catholic College Thursday afternoon esports. This afternoon up on deck we have Super Smash Brothers, uh, the best of three competition with our first competitors, Sam the Man versus Vegemite. Also a special thanks to Legion by Lenovo for their ongoing support. They've provided our competitors with all the equipment that they need to play their best, as well as the streaming equipment and setup that you see today. So thank you very much to Legion and Lenovo for their ongoing support of eSports. And now on with the competition. Okay, so it looks like we've got our character select screen here. Now, to be fair, I have never commentated Super Smash Brothers before, but rest assured that this is sure to be an interesting and exciting match. So we're just waiting for those selections to go through. Here we go, so Sam the Man on the left and Vegemite on the right. So far he's settling on King Rule, no? Pyra and Mithra. I remember from uh, the Chisholm Slam competition, Pyra and Mithra was certainly a team not to be messed with. Okay, so we've got Marth versus Jigglypuff. And we are off and racing. And Vegemite with the first contact there, but Marth is hitting back hard. We've got a nice combo there. Vegemite's already on 36%. This is not looking very good, Jigglypuff. Okay, pretty evenly matched now. Ooh. Nearly down. Jigglypuff really holding their own there. Oh, and he's caught him in the stun. And the first point goes to Jigglypuff. Well done, Vegemite. I mean, even on the rebound here, Jigglypuff is only sitting really at 36%. Scratch that 46%, but he's, he's really holding his own there. Oh, we've got a little bit of transfer going here. This is certainly an exciting first match. Oh, when we're one all, well done to Sam the Man. Taking things back to the tie. Interesting matchup. So I'm not quite sure who the meta is at the moment for Super Smash Brothers, but Jigglybuff is proving to be very strong in this first match. Okay, what I'm not seeing a lot is the uh, use of the block. Both competitors here are, really, are being really aggressive with their attacks. Jigglypuff still holding... Still holding at 77. Oh, this could be a, another point. And there we go, Jigglypuff takes yet another point. Alright, and back, straight back into the action. If Sam the Man is going to uh, pull a bit of a comeback, this will be where the point that that happens. But Jigglypuff is adeptly avoiding those attacks. Sitting on 111% now, so they have to be really careful. Oh, Jigglypuff. Oh, there we go. Back to the tiebreaker. So this is really sudden death. The next person that takes the takes the kill is going to win the match. Sam the Man is sitting at 85%. Jigglypuff back at zero. And oh, what a finisher. Game set and match to Jigglypuff. Well done, Sam. Excellent effort, but in the end, the little pink squishy ball takes the, takes the game. And we'll be back in just a few moments. And we're back. welcome back. We're straight back into the action. So this time we've got Sam the Man playing Mewtwo and uh, Jigglypuff. Staying the selection for Vegemite. And it looks like we're in the, uh, the Minecraft uh, scene, which is uh, interesting. 
All right, here we go. So at the moment, we're pretty evenly matched. We've got 50% on each side. Mewtwo is typically, uh, from what I recall, quite a strong character in uh, Super Smash Brothers. So we might see a little bit of a different matchup here. Oh. And the first point goes to Mewtwo. Wow, okay. Oh, we're bouncing back here. Oh, we tried for the stun, wasn't successful. But Mewtwo with the reversal there and... Oh, it's looking like uh, Jigglypuff is setting up for the next point here, but Mewtwo just doesn't want to give in. And Damage-wise, we're getting pretty even again. This could be anyone's match. Oh, Jigglypuff is taking a pounding in this in this here match. What an exciting first game. Oh, Mewtwo takes point number two. One more point. And it's game set and match for Mewtwo, but at the moment they're sitting on 144% damage and Jigglypuff is just baiting them on the corner there. Oh, not quite. It was a good shot. The aggression that we are seeing here. Both characters non-stop attacking. And Jigglypuff has sent uh, Sandman flying, but oh, just gets the point now. Jigglypuff sitting at 22%, Mewtwo back in at zero. Uh, scratch that, 12. Still could be either opponent's game, either, either competitor's game. If Sandman takes the next the next uh, point, then they will take round two. Now remember, this is a best of three series. At the moment, Jigglypuff has taken round one. But from the looks of things, it, it might be uh, it might be Sam the Man that takes this one. Damage-wise, both competitors are sitting on roughly the same, so... Oh, and here we go. That is game, set, and match to Mewtwo, bringing both competitors to one all. So the last game will be our tiebreaker. Let's, uh, let's see what, what characters they select, and we'll be back in just a few moments. back with Sam the Man and Vegemite on the character select screen. Let's see what they're going to go with. Uh, Vegemite, let's see if he goes back with the uh, tried and tested Jigglypuff. Oh, oh, okay. So Sam the Man is sticking with Mewtwo, so it's going to be the same matchup. Mewtwo versus Jigglypuff. I, I'm imagining that Jigglypuff is hoping for a different outcome. Let's see if, if they manage to pull that off. And we are straight into the action here. Again, both both competitors being extremely aggressive. Mewtwo on the first few attacks, but we're still neck and neck, fairly even. All right, Jigglypuff has taken the lead here. Just misses the stun. Oh no, he gets the stun. And that's the first point to Jigglypuff. Unlucky there for Mewtwo. Mewtwo coming straight back into the action with some added aggression. Really couldn't have hoped for a better match for our first game here, the Thursday afternoon Chisholm Catholic College Esports competitions. Jigglypuff avoiding the stun there. 
Oh, and Mewtwo walks straight into that one. That is the second point to Jigglypuff. With only one point remaining. Can they take the first game? Super Smash Brothers 2022. Now, Jigglypuff has to be careful here. Oh, and unfortunately not careful enough. Mewtwo takes a point. But it is still Jigglypuff on two points. Mewtwo on one. We're sitting neck and neck with damage here. In the first game, Super Smash Brothers. Oh, and Mewtwo really taking some heavy damage here. Jigglypuff sends flying off the edge of the screen. Walk straight into that. We're neck and neck at nearly 100% each. And Jigglypuff sent flying again off the side of the screen. Oh, and that is point to Mewtwo. One all. Mewtwo sitting at nearly 100% damage. And game set and match to Jigglypuff. What a finish. Finished Mewtwo, sent him flying. Well done to Vegemite, our first winner of round one. Well done, and we will be back with you in just a few moments. All right, thanks for joining us on the Thursday afternoon Chisholm Catholic College eSports. This week we are playing Super Smash Brothers. In the first round we had Sam the Man versus Vegemite. Uh, Sam the Man playing Mewtwo for two rounds and Vegemite sticking with Jigglypuff, the little pink squishy ball, and came out victorious. So in our first round, Vegemite was the winner with two games to one playing as Jigglypuff. Next up, we've got Bean Slinger versus Helix. And once again, thanks very much to Legion by Lenovo for their ongoing support of the eSports program. We certainly appreciate it. All of the equipment that you see here being used today to build this wonderful stream for you to watch, all supported and, and given to us by Lenovo. All right, so let's take a look and see what the competitors are up to now. Hopefully they're on a character select screen. And uh, let's see what we're, we'll be working with for this second in the series. Alright, so we've got Bean Slinger on the left. No, Bean Slinger on the right, and Helix, who I assume is Santa Claus, on the left there. Alright, we've got oh, perhaps Ice Climber. That's an interesting pick for Bean Slinger. Ice Climber. Looks like that's what he's going to lock in. And what are we going to go with for Helix? Helix choosing Lucas. Okay. Three. Hopefully this matchup will bring just as much excitement as round one. And we are straight into it. Beamslinger on the attack. Straight up. Lucas taking an absolute pounding. Got a little bit more use of block this time. Oh, that was a good uh, deflection there. 
Lucas is really getting, he's really struggling to get some hits off on Beanslinger. Keeping quite a distance. This is an interesting matchup. Lucas has a lot of mobility, but it's not really helping him out uh, a whole lot. Um, Beanslinger is being certainly aggressive, and that first point goes to Beanslinger. And they really haven't suffered a lot of damage here. Lucas is really struggling to get those hits onto, uh, onto either of the Ice Climbers. I always find it interesting to watch these characters that are, uh, when there's more than one character that's being played at a time, it's uh, sometimes quite difficult to follow. I imagine that uh, reversing them as a competitor is also a bit of a challenge. Luke is getting his own back a little bit there, getting a few easy shots off on Beanslinger. And at the moment it's still anyone's game. Beanslinger's sitting at about 90%. Lucas is in a pretty good position at the moment. Oh, and he's just taken another beating. And again, we're neck and neck. Good block there. And Lucas sent flying. Oh, and that's the next point to the Ice Climbers, played by Bean Slinger. Lucas retaliating immediately, smashing Beanslinger off the edge of the screen, but unfortunately, no point to them. We're seeing some interesting action here in round two. Still anyone's game. At the moment, we've got Beanslinger in the lead. Ice Climbers are sitting on 132%, but Lucas is still taking a pounding. Lucas sitting at nearly 100%. Ice Climbers sitting at 147%. The next shot could be the next one that sends them off the edge. Oh, unlucky. Missed that. Missed that hit there. Oh, and there is the finisher. First, first game of the match goes to Bean Slinger and the Ice Climbers. It's really a one-sided, one-sided match there. Lucas just unable to get the damage off, and we'll be joining our competitors in just a few moments. Here we go on game, game two. It seems like it's going to be Sa Santa Claus and Bean Slinger versing each other again. Let's see what they choose. Santa Claus is choosing the iconic Ice Climbers as a pretty good man. Bean Slinger is choosing Pokemon Trainer. Here we go. As they start fighting, Beanslinger gets a 20, a 34% on them, 52.9%, jeez. So far, Santa Claus has not laid a hit on Beanslinger where, where Santa Claus has taken 62.5% damage. Beanslinger is still standing strong at, with defense as he hits Santa Claus again for, for now getting him down to 96.3% and now to 2-3. To with Santa Claus being on 2 stock and Beanslinger being on 3. Santa Claus finally lands a hit on Beanslinger, taking him down to 16.3%. Santa Claus is on 285.9%. Santa Claus has gone up to 68.6%, a 2.2%. He keeps going up. Beanslinger has gone up to 36.2%, 60.5%, as they keep do dodging each other. As they keep trying to attack, Beanslinger gets a good hit on Santa Claus, giving him 96. Percent 
damage. Fiend is currently on a 1.9, now it is a 1 stock and 3 stock. Fiend on 3 and Sand Claws on 1. Never mind, now it's now 1 to 2. Fiend is now as Squirrel and Sand Claws are still as Ice Climbers. Fiend Slinger gets 3.7% on Sand Claws, now 10.7%. However, Sand Claws comes back with a 25.3% on Bean Beansl Slinger. 32% now on Bean Slinger with a 4.3% on Sand Claws. Bean Slinger goes up to 50.9% changes to, to Ivy Sword. Now Char Zardin and Sand Claws are still on 55.1% as they're now both down to one stock. Sand Claws and Bean Slinger try laying hits on each other where Sand Claws gets the first hit after Bean Slinger goes down to one stock as Bean Slinger wipes out one of the Ice Climber buys and now Sand Claws is on 55.1% where Bean Slinger is on 23-37%. So far it looks like like Bean Slinger is putting, is putting a whole lot of damage in to Sand Claws, with Sand Claws being now on 101.1%, now 112.5%. He keeps doing damage to try and get him out of the game, and there we go, the end of game game two has finished, and and now we will be going on to game three with with Bean Slinger with, winning with a one stock advantage. Welcome everyone to the final round of Super Smash Bros. We have Vegemite here with Jigglypuff and Bean Slinger with Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer! Here we go, first game. Bean Slinger trying to land some early hits. Got a massive combo on them with 44.1%. Whilst Vegemite also gets in another hit. Now he's trying to combo him. Oh, they're both even now. With Bean Slinger a little bit higher on the damage. Ooh, almost got that sling that, um, down. Just misses that rollout, but it's not lucky. Like they're trying to dodge each other's attacks. Both missing. Is, is either of them gonna get hits? Nope. Maybe. Ooh. No, both of them using shields. Ooh, close to that thing. Ooh, no. Nice attack from Bean Sling. Ooh, good smash, and that's 3 to 2 with Bean Sling being up 3. Good hits from Vegemite. Nice shield. Good hits. Looks like Bean Slinger might be. This might be out soon for Bean Slinger. Bean Slinger 136, almost down. But 
Vegemite has a comfortable 21. And there we go. 2-2. Two, two. Squirtle, uh, the Bean Slinger getting a few good hits on the Vegemite there. Whilst Vegemite tries to retaliate. Both probably doing the exact same amount of damage as each other. Ooh, almost gets the smash down. Bean Slinger almost, almost, almost getting um, hit multiple times again. And it's 2 1 to, to Bean Slinger. So it's 2 and Vegemite has 1. And nice, nice sing from uh, Vegemite. Which almost gets the smash. Unfortunately, doesn't. Oh, and Vegemite goes down to a 2 2 0 victory to Bean Sling. straight into with the Ice Climber and Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff taking some early damage and some early hits. Ice Climber again proving to be a strong character in this, the first round of the Chisholm Catholic College Thursday afternoon eSports. Super Smash Brothers on deck today. Jigglypuff continuing to take a beating here. Trying adamantly to fight back but not really succeeding. And Jigglypuff is now sitting on 95% damage. The next shot could take them sending off the edge of the screen. Ice Climber continuing to be very aggressive. Also good use of block though. So Jigglypuff is not managing to get off any hits on the Bean Climber. Jigglypuff now sitting at 115.8%. Ice Climber sitting on 21. 136%. This is really not looking good for Jigglypuff. Vegemite's strong in the first competition, but this is clearly Beanslinger's game at this point. Still no, no stock taken. Jigglypuff trying to block those hits, sitting at 147% now. Ice Climber still holding their own. Still being very defense, uh, very aggressive. Oh, and Jigglypuff sends Ice Climber oh, right off the edge of the screen there. Can they get back up? Yes, they can. Jigglypuff, unfortunately, still at 147%. Bean Slingers is sitting at 100%. At this stage, we're just trading shots. Oh, and Ice Climber sends Jigglypuff out of the screen, first point to them. Oh, and a nice recovery there. Oh, and we are even, one all. Both characters reset back to 0%. And now with the reversal, Beanslinger is taking a beating. Jigglypuff has bounced back. All right, some good blocking. Missed on the stun there. Beanslinger sitting at 80%. Jigglypuff just avoiding some of those shots. Oh, trying for the sneaky. Just there. Beanslinger going for a bit of a run off the edge of the screen again. Sitting at 112%. Jigglypuff is really holding their own again. But Beanslinger is not ready to give up. Trying again for the stun. Didn't quite land it. Now we're both sort of sitting around 110%. This is a really exciting matchup for the final game here. Oh, and straight out of the screen. See you later, Jigglypuff. Beanslinger sitting on... Oh, there we go. One all. This is the sudden death final round. The next point takes the game. We're pretty neck and neck here. We're just trading points and Beanslinger's has taken a little bit of a lead. Jigglypuff just lying down on the job there, taking a sleep. We still don't really have a clear winner of this round. We're still neck and neck. 
Oh, excellent block there by Bean Slinger. Both of our competitors sitting at a rare... Well, no, there we clearly have Jigglypuff struggling. Over 100%. Beam Climber sitting on 65%. Was that a special that got blocked there? I think it was. 115% for Jigglypuff. 65%... Well, 77% for Bean Slinger. Trying again for the stun. Didn't quite land it. Oh, Jigglypuff is in trouble. 125%. Bean Slinger guarding the edge of the map. Trying again for the... Oh, and there we go. Game set and match to Bean Slinger. What a fantastic finish to the round. Clearly the victorious competitor there. What an exciting game. What a wonderful end to the competition. We'll be back to give our final words in just a few moments. Well, that was certainly an exciting first game in the series of Super Smash Brothers here at Chisholm Catholic College Thursday afternoon eSports. Special thank you to our competitors, our student competitors, as well as our student casters. What a fantastic job that we've seen today. Also, special thanks to, of course, Chisholm Catholic College for hosting such an exciting and wonderful event, supporting the cooperation, teamwork, uh, team building, and uh, all those wonderful skills that go along with eSports. Also, special thank you to Legion by Lenovo for their ongoing support of the eSports program here at Chisholm Catholic College. And thank you to you, the viewers, for watching this, the first of the Super Smash Brothers Chisholm Catholic College Thursday afternoon eSports. Until next week, stay frosty.